Hey guys, uh, I'm gonna be learning about FPGA through FPGA Academy uh, and I thought it would be fun to share with others. Uh, so I decided to stream it and if somebody finds it interesting, they can watch along and learn together with me. I'll be using fpgacademy.org website uh, where there are some courses. Uh, there are in total uh, four courses. Uh, the first one is about digital logic. It's just the basic uh, FPGA logic uh, design. Then there is computer organization, which is about uh, about the ARM Cortex A9. Um, then we have embedded systems. That's about Linux development and um, running some um, some applications in the Linux on the ARM Cortex. Uh, processor and finally we have uh, probably the most interesting for me that's uh, compute acceleration and this um, this is separated to first it's just uh, about acceleration about uh, uh, about acceleration and the second one is about OpenCL so there is some lane detection uh, classification of handwritten digits so that seems really interesting and I'm excited to get to it to that, but first I will go through uh, the the other uh, courses. Today we will look at the tutorials. Mm. So we will look at the tutorial for the digital logic. Uh, then we have tutorials for each of the courses, and also some tutorial about simulation in Quartus. Yeah, uh, I'll be using the DE one SOC. And development board so there are other other development boards you can use but I'll be using this one and yeah let's start I will be using VHDL so I'll open the first PDF and let's start uh, we have some introduction uh, I will be using or this uh, tutorial is for Quartus version 21 but i will be using the newest one which is i think 23 but i don't think there will be any problems with that i think it will be uh compatible uh, yeah. background computer aided design cut software makes it easy to implement a desired logic circuit by using a programmable logic device such as fpga chip a typical fpga cut flow is illustrated in figure one so we have design entry design entry the desired circuit is specified either by means of a sch schematic diagram or by using a hardware description language such as Verilog or vhdl so this is just uh, designing and um, that's what we will do designing uh, in vhdl then synthesis the entered design is synthesized into a circuit that consists of logical logic elements provided in the fpga chip so then from the design a circuit is made in the synthesis part functional simulation the synthesis size circuit is tested to verify its functional correctness the simulation does not take into account any timing issues okay we design then we create circuit and we test whether it's functional then we when, then if it's correct uh, we continue if it's not then we design again then we go to fitting and timing analysis and simulation fitting the cut uh, fitter tool determines the placement of logical elements defined in the netlist uh, into the logic logic elements in an actual fpga chip it also chooses routing wires in the chip to make the required connections between specific logic elements um yeah so fitting actually takes the circuit and place it onto the chip and chooses routing wires in the chip and create the routing wires and timing analysis uh, propagation delays along the various paths in the fitted circuits are analyzed to provide an indication of the expected performance of the circuit so indication of the expected performance Timing simulation, the fitted circuit is tested to verify both its functional correctness and timing. Yeah, and this is like the final simulation. 
So we've got the analysis and simulation. If it's met, then we can program the hardware. And if it's not, then we either design again or try to fit it differently. Interesting, interesting. So these are the steps we will uh, we will do in this tutorial. Okay, getting started. Mm, let's open Quartus. Let's open Quartus and start a new project. So file, new project wizard, file, new project wizard. Uh, don't show me this again. I'll go to the F FPGA Academy. And what is so we'll create with the name light. Okay. Mm, it should be empty. Okay. Here we can add some files, but we don't have any files to add, so we'll just press next. Here we can choose the board. Since I will be using DE1 SOC board, I'll choose that one. Okay, and next. Okay. Here, the user can specify any third party tools that should be used. A commonly used term for CAD software for electronic circuits is EDA tools, where the acronym stands for Electronic Design Automation. This term is used in Quartus Prime messages that refer to third-party tools, which are the tools developed and marked by companies other than Intel. Okay, uh, Adapt tools, electronic design automation tools are uh, tools developed by other companies uh, other than Intel. Intel is, uh, is the owner of Quartus Prime and of Altera development boards. Okay, so finish. So we created the Quartus project. And what do we do next? Next, we design this circuit. So we have one OR, two AND gates, and two NOT gates. And this seems like a uh, this seems like a simple exclusive OR or XOR. So we have two zeros. Uh, if two zero or if both of the inputs are on or off, then we have zero, and if either of them is one, then we have uh, one. So here we design this. So I will rewrite it. I'll try to write uh, so I can uh, I can remember the syntax better. Okay, let's zoom in. Okay, we got library i triple e use i triple e dot std logic six four dot all and the light is port x one x two in td logic f Out std logic and so here we design the ports so we have two inputs and one output and they are uh, specified as std logic which is just boolean value either zero or one and now we are all design the architecture architecture so logic logic function of light is begin so the output will be or there will be two ors and the first one will be x1 or and not x2 and the other one will be x not x1 and x2 yes and so we have our output and our output will be assigned 
uh, either if this is true or if this is true. Yes. Now we'll save it. And this is exactly what we have uh, drawn here. Okay, let's see. Let's see what we do next. Some VHD templates we can use if um, yeah difficult to yeah it's, it's sometimes difficult for a designer to remember so we can use the uh, in templates to insert some code adding design files yeah if we go to uh, assignment or yeah, assignment settings. And here files we can add some files to the project mm. compiling but before we compile we have to assign pins to the to x1 and x0 and f so here we have our board and these are the actual pins in the fpga and we will assign um our inputs and outputs to these pins. So these pins correspond to switches and uh, and LED and, and LEDs on the FPGA. So let's copy this and go to assignment, assignment editor. Let's add. and here we have X1, X2, F. Location, location. So X1 will be AB2, this will be AC, and this will be this one. Okay. Okay. Let's compile and see if we have any errors. Um, yeah. We will uh, set the pins like this in, in the future, but for now, we just need three pin assignments so we can do it manually programming jtag we'll use jtag to program i think that's how yes we'll use yeah mm, okay so let's wait while we wait we can read some of these The, the configuration task is performed as follows. If using the DE1 SOC board, then the instructions in the following section should be followed. To program the FPGA chip, uh, the run switch on the board must be in run position. Yes, I have done this. I've connected the USB blaster, installed a driver, and now I think we can, we can uh, program the device. Okay. Okay, so it's done. Now we can go to programmer and we press auto detect and we have this chip. So we select this one. Uh, yes, here. So we have two chips. One of them is ARM processor and one of them is the FPGA. So this is the FPGA. So let's select the output files and let's try to program. So yeah, it seems to be done correctly. So let's see if we push this one, it turns on. If we push the other, it turns off. So only one of them can be on. If we turn both of them on, it's so it works correctly. So the design is correct. And I think that's it for yeah, testing the design circuit. Before implementing the design circuit in FPGA chip on the DE series board, it is prudent, prudent to simulate it to assert to ascertain its correctness. While not covered in this tutorial, users may use software such as the uh, such as model sim or other simulation environments to test the circuit in simulation. 
Simulation of a circuit often provides a comprehensive view of a circuit's functionality and can help users easily find bugs within the circuit's logic without having to touch hardware. Yeah, simulation is important, we can do it in model sim, but now we don't have to do it since this was a really easy uh, example. Wait, uh, I didn't want to do that. Yeah, um, yeah we tested it and it worked. And that's it for this uh, PDF. So we have gone through the first uh, PDF. Uh, I don't think I need to go through all of these. So next time I will look at the laboratory exercises. I will go through the first lab. Uh, so switches, slides and multiplexers. So let's look what this will be about. So first part we have some switches to LED assignments. Mm -hmm. Then we have some simple circuit. Yeah, this is a multiplexer cir circuit. Mm, then we have some more complex. Yeah, two input to switch a multiplexer. Then we have some seven segment display and this is a sound segment display with multiplexer, I think. Okay, yeah. So this will be do will be doing next uh, next stream. Uh, I will upload this on YouTube, so either you can watch it on YouTube, or I'll be happy if you come to my stream and we can work on this together. Uh, I will post the Twitter uh, uh, the Twitch uh, link in my description in the description of this video, so you can join me. Uh, thank you for uh, watching this video and I'll see you next time.